Let's return to the news now. Hollywood actor Chadwick Boseman has died at the age of 43 following a four-year battle with colon cancer. He was famous for playing the first black superhero in a big-budget Hollywood movie, a role which made him a real-life hero to millions of people around the world. I'm joined now by the founder of the British Urban Film Festival, Emmanuel Anyam Osigwe. Thank you very much for joining us today, Emmanuel. Um, another life cut tragically short. He was only 43. Yes, he was only 43 and he was three months shy of turning 44. Um, I, I'm in complete shock, to be honest with you, because I actually woke up to the news. And one of the first things I did was to hug my wife and my 17 month old daughter just a little bit more tighter because you just don't know when you're going to get that opportunity to do so again i mean obviously for chadwick and his family um they'll never experience that um and they're the ones that we're all thinking about at this very sad time i mean obviously a lot of people have been speaking um just in complete shock and to think that he was at the height of his game with black panther and avengers and Marshall, he was in his prime, and yet there he was fighting this inner battle, um, which unfortunately he hasn't overcome. What impact has he had on the, on the film industry? Um, he's one of those unassuming um, characters. Um, I'm sure people that have worked with him will tell you some stories of his work ethic, his discipline, and his commitment to the role. I mean, obviously the fact that he took on this uh, unique accent for Black Panther was commendable. Um, and the fact that everywhere he went, he carried this presence. He was really a leader. And you could see that in the promotion of Black Panther when they went around the world. Um, my organisation, the British Urban Film Festival, was very fortunate to attend the European premiere in London a few years ago. And we got a brief chance to speak to all of the cast um, and crew. Um, Chadwick obviously was the main man. We didn't get a chance to speak to him. But just to be part of that film, um, it was a unique moment, not just for black people around the world, um, but just for people in general, um, just seeing how this unassuming um, figure, Chadwick Boseman, was leading such a powerhouse of a film, which is still being talked about today. Obviously, the fact that with Black Panther 2 in the works, we don't know what's going to happen with that. But right now, all thoughts must be with his family. Because when Black Panther came out, it was the highest grossing superhero film at the time, $1.3 billion. But perhaps it's the cultural impact that is more important. He was able to inspire the next generation of, of young black actors. Absolutely. I mean, in Black Panther, you've got the, the British presence of Daniel Kalia and Tisha Wright. Um, so it wasn't just the young generation that was in that film. You had a black British generation there. And I know at the time in the UK, there were parties being organised uh, just for attending the premiere. Everyone was dressed in their African regalia. It really was an occasion. And the fact that Disney, who were behind the film, decided to take that film out of the traditional summer window and put it in February, which in America is Black History Month. And here in the UK, it was around about half term. They really did think about the marketing and that cultural impact, like you said. And obviously that's paid them back in full, not just at the box office, but in terms of that legacy of Wakanda and also behind the scenes in terms of the possibilities of talent like Ryan Coogler in this, in, in just his third feature film to think of what he's done before with Creed and with Fruitvale Station. And here he's helming this multi-million pound film, which has grossed over a billion at the box office, the 12th highest uh, grossing film of all time. Um, and all the other films that Chadwick has been in. And there's so many stories about Chadwick, the fact that Denzel Washington paid for one of his courses at Oxford University. Um, he's just done so much to so many people. Um, and obviously in his death, I'm sure during this bank holiday period, there'll be people longing to watch Black Panther again. Yeah, and there is set to be another Black Panther film. At, at some point in the future, Marvel will have to start thinking about who can take on the role. Big boots to fill. They are. And it was something I was thinking about before um, I was going to come on today. Um, they've got a real decision to make. I mean, some people would say maybe just leave Black Panther as it is, as a testament to Chadwick, 
or maybe they look for a successor to um, T'Challa, the character played by Chadwick. So it's a difficult situation. I don't know if, in, if I was in Disney's position whether um, to go ahead with the sequel or indeed to just leave it as it is, because like I said, that impact will still be felt whether they make a second Black Panther or not. Hey, Emmanuel Aniam Osigwe, founder of the British Urban Film Festival. Love to get your thoughts. Thank you. Thanks.